Hi, I'm Shelley Lovett with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a pumpkin math mat. You can find this pattern on my website at ChildCareLand.com. Underneath the video section you just print it on cardstock paper and laminate it and in the center of the pumpkin where we're going to be putting our number squares I have attached a self-adhesive magnet and also on the back of our number squares there is a self-adhesive magnet. We like to have the pieces stick to the, the mat so they don't slide all around but you don't have to. You can just set the numbers in the blank square or you can use Velcro Whatever works for you, um, you can certainly do. So you would have your mat, you need your numbers, and I've included numbers one through 20, as well as blank squares, so you can do, write your own addition, addition and subtraction equations and then use that for this mat as well. Besides that, you'll need to have some pumpkin seeds, and you can either dig these out of pumpkins, if you're doing pumpkin projects with the children, and you would bake these, dry them off and bake them, so they would be dry or you can also purchase them in a store um, I purchased these at Walmart they are pumpkin seeds and I never even knew they had those so I was looking for them the, um, the last time I went so if you don't have pumpkins by you you can maybe find them in a store but they work wonderful for this math activity and for this math mitt all, all you would do is you would have the mat sitting down along with your number squares and then the child would pick a, a, a number put it on the pumpkin and then they would try to put the correct number of seeds on so this is eight they would put eight these two are stuck together we'll do two different ones eight seeds on for that and then when they're done they would remove that number take their seeds off put them back in the bowl and then they would do a different number. And so we have five, and so they would find one, two, three, four, five pumpkin seeds that they would put on. And then they would take those off and put them back and they would just continue on. Uh, you could also, as I mentioned, use the blank cards and write in your own addition and subtraction equations. So we have two plus five, so you put five on, or you put two on, and then you would add five more on, one, two, three, four, five, and then they would count total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pumpkin seeds, two plus five equals seven. You could also use it for a subtraction. This is six minus three, so you would start with six seeds, and then you would take away three, and then you would have three left. So lots of ways you can use this mat. The children really enjoy the pumpkin seeds, especially um, if they were the ones to scoop them out of the pumpkin and clean them off and then you would bake them together as a class project maybe. But either way you can buy them uh, if you didn't want to do that too. For a pumpkin math mat, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and thanks for watching.